so uh, you are familiar with a uh, basic root operation and their templating in Laravel. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, you know how to make form and save it to the database and also uh, you are familiar with editing and the value you store in your database but and for doing so I'm expecting that uh, you are using the same form for create different form for create application and also different form for edit uh, edit edit task because even though uh, the form at form input value input input field are same so in this tutorial I will teach you how to use same form that is this form for uh, adding creating and also for editing that editing as you can see uh, this form structure is same for both create and editing so why not use same form for both tasks it will reduce your code and also I think it's a better way so for that I've already done that so I'm going to explain the code for you so first of all as you can see folder structure uh, you should uh, this is my folder structure uh, you can uh, follow different folder structure but this is usually folder structure that I follow uh, you can make create edit form and index to the update PHP and in create define your form uh, form action and method and your CSR token here and then include your form that is path to your form that is admin view admin author and form that as you can see admin author form and this is a form this is a common form form for both uh, create and edit and go to the edit also in edit uh, define your form action then to the CSR token an important part is uh, for editing your form you need to add this field to your form math method field patch uh, in a form as you can see in create I haven't used that but for edit to work same form to work you need this now go to your form this is a common for both create and edit as you can see nothing is uh, different from your usual form I have defined as same the same way uh, as you do in normally but the difference is in value in value what should you do is uh, you should check the value coming from uh, your controller uh, let me show you to our controller as you can see I have passed the author value uh, as data so in edit form check that data in form check that data that if author name is set then show author name otherwise it will show uh, in whatever value you've in creating and uh, that is uh, if value author value is present then the form will work as uh, edit form and if author value does not exist then it will work as uh, then it, the, the input field will work as a create field also also as you can see in create uh, let me fix this edit form Uh, this is my edit form uh, as you can see in create form I have the button is showing save and on edit form is showing all update uh, you can also do this for this create author uh, this title I haven't uh, done that in there but I think I have uh, a bad condition on form so for that uh, what should you do is uh, you should apply a check your condition and then this is that I haven't done this 
if author name is present then it will show update else it will show save you can apply same condition for this value too so if if value if value from controller is coming then it will show edit and if it is not pre present then it will show create uh, let me show you that you know as you can see there is a create create author on edit form now i have changed in my code now refresh it it's showing edit author uh, basically a thing you need to understand is this whole div of container of form is a common form blade now go to your also this part now go to your index form and then apply it's showing create author now go to your edit and it's showing edit so that's for this video uh, this is a really uh, cool way of using form a uh, single form for multiple application for both create and both edit uh, use this feature thank you so much